Hi there, David Katzmeyer here from CNED, and in front of me is the most expensive and also the nicest projector we've ever tested here. This is the JVC DLA X700R. This is the second most expensive JVC projector for 2013 2014. It uses the company's new E Shift DILA chips. Uh, all that stuff is a mouthful, so we'll start at the beginning. This is not a 4K projector, unlike some competing Sony units, which are even more expensive than this one. It uses JVC's E Shift technology, which takes the 1080p native pixels inside this projector, shifts them slightly to improve picture density. All things considered, we didn't really consider that part of its technology all that impressive. We'll get to that in a little bit, but still, it's an excellent projector overall. Feature-wise, it includes JVC's patented suite of excellent on-screen adjustments. You can go and use the remote control to tweak stuff like lens shift, uh, all the other focus and zoom that you need to do to set up the projector, so setup was really easy. Another thing I really appreciated was the quietness of this projector. It's really silent when it's running unless you're using the high lamp mode, which most people in a home theater situation aren't going to want to use. The projector can, of course, accommodate uh, anamorphic lenses if you need to, and it has lens memories to work with those lenses and get everything set up, again, in a pro level, pretty much as good as you can expect. This projector is THX certified. It also has ISF modes, so if you have a calibrator coming over, which I definitely recommend with a projector this expensive, he or she should be able to get the ultimate picture quality, again, with your dedicated screen and dedicated room. Of course, that's a downside of a projector like this. You're going to need to buy a relatively nice screen to keep up with it and also have a completely dark room to get the best picture quality out of it. Once you do that, the picture is superb. This projector is definitely better than the step-down JVC that we looked at, the X35, although it's not leaps and bounds better. The black levels are a little bit darker. The one thing this does a little bit better than that projector is it gets the brights brighter, so you get an even more punch and contrast despite keeping those excellent, really deep black levels, which again, are as good or better than any projector we've ever seen. Combine that with the excellent color on this projector and you get really an eye-popping, superb picture that's the equal of pretty much any other display technology out there, except for maybe OLED. As we mentioned at the top, however, E-Shift really isn't a great improvement. It does increase pixel fill, so if you stand really close to the screen, you won't see pixel edges if you turn it on, but most people aren't going to sit close enough to actually appreciate it. On the downside, we did see a couple extra artifacts introduced by E-Shift, so I think that real video quality sticklers are one I'm going to keep it turned off. On the flip side, it doesn't have all the resolution that we'd expect from a 4K projector. Of course, it doesn't have all the pixels either. So again, if you're going to invest in a projector this expensive, you might want to know that the 4K projectors, which are a little bit more expensive even than this, are going to give you better detail. Of course, you'll only get that extra detail with 4K sources, which at the moment are incredibly rare. And of course, there's no guarantee that those projectors are going to match this JVC when it comes to black levels and color, which are much more important than resolution anyway, even on an extremely large screen. Despite its expense, however, this projector does not include 3D capability in the box. You're going to need to buy a separate emitter, which is 99 bucks, as well as separate glasses. JVCs are pretty expensive at about 150 but this actually works with other third-party glasses that cost as little as 20 bucks. As you can see, the 3D emitter attaches right to the back of the projector here. There's also two HDMI inputs, uh, RS-232 and Ethernet for remote control. So beyond all those details, the real takeaway here is this projector is superb. It has excellent picture quality, and that's really what you want to get if you're going to spend this kind of money. Of course, if you don't want to spend this kind of money, the step-down JVC projector is extremely good as well, and again, an extremely good value with less than half the price. That's a quick look at JVC's DLA X700R projector. I'm David Katzmeyer from CNET.